Welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited to be getting into the reading today. It's been a minute. I missed you guys. I hope you guys missed me too. I was enjoying my birthday. And thank you to everybody who said happy birthday to me while I was having fun and all that. But uh, let's go ahead and get straight into You guys know how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera so you guys can see the cards. If you want a personal with me, make sure you check out the link tree link listed below. Uh, everything you need to find me on my social medias and whatnot will be under that same link. So check it out. And let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, Capricorns, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. So let's use this deck. I haven't used it in a minute. Actually, these are like two decks combined. <laughs> but let's see what comes through. Capricorns. What are the messages? Okay. We have empathic starseed, energetic sovereignty, absorbing absorbing excuse me what's not yours so this is making sure with you guys being very sensitive to energies to people because a lot of you who are watching this your impasse in some form with you being empathic you have to be careful of being sensitive to energies or even surrounding yourself with certain energies because this could be damaging to your energy force field so this is being aware like some of you guys may be feeling like you're going through depression you're going through the motions or just emotions that just don't seem in alignment with what's really going on in your life at the moment you could be absorbing other people's energy around you so if you have that one friend that emotionally dumps on you and just you know tells you all their business and they just expect you to take that on and Essentially, they're in energy transferring all their bad vibes to you. Sometimes it's okay to let this person know, like, look, I can't really, you know, get into all that right now because that's just going to mess me up. Like, you have to put boundaries in place when it becomes too much because people will just literally dump their emotions on you and there will be no end to it until they feel better. And then now you feel like crap. Let's keep going. Capricorns. All right, we have two cards. Surrender to the sweetness, Venus energy, pleasure, joy, make love to life. All paths lead home, inner authority, intuition, turn your gaze within. Interesting. So this is enjoying the finer things in life. It's okay to treat yourself and not feel guilty about it. Some of you guys have been maybe on a strict spending budget or something, or you've been handling responsibilities within the household and you haven't really been taking care of yourself. This is making sure that you're not forgetting to take care of yourself in the midst of all of this, you know, being a parent, being a business owner, being somebody that holds the household down. All right. Um, this is also enjoying life, like not feeling apologetic about doing so as well, making sure that you don't allow yourself to start feeling bad in moments of, you know, enjoying maybe an off day or if you're an entrepreneur, you know, it's okay to spend the first half of your morning sometimes relaxing and, and hanging out. But don't make yourself feel bad for enjoying life or enjoying your hard work. Also, this is with this card. This is you understanding the bigger picture of things I'm picking up, um, making sure that you don't have like this narrow minded view of how your situation is about to manifest. And when I say that, this is like thinking if you're not in a relationship with a particular person, then you don't want to be in a relationship at all. Or believing that if things don't turn out exactly how you envision them mentally, that things won't turn out good because spirit has a bigger plan sometimes. And Spirit is saying also that your intuition is very strong. So don't ignore that. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to accept the fact that our intuition may be right, but our intuition could save us from a lot of heartache. 
All right, Capricorns. We have Alchemy. So I actually got this card for, I believe, maybe Scorpio. Yeah. So this is being able to turn a negative situation into something that works for you. This is understanding that just because something is quote unquote bad or negative at the moment doesn't mean that that's the end all be all and that you can't turn that into something that works for you. Okay. Um, this is also understanding that in order for alchemy to work, you have to take self accountability and you also have to relinquish this energy of fear. And some of you guys could exist too much in a fearful state and or a worrisome state. And this is going to like repel positive um, manifestations from coming your way. So let's keep going. Capricorns, you guys are talking today. All the signs have been OK. This is way too many cards. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. Messages coming through. Ace of Pentacles, of course. Money is on your mind always. You guys are starting to think, are certain things worth the money? You could have certain side hustles that you're like, eh, this isn't really making me money like how I want to. Or this, is, this doesn't feel like it's worth the headache that I have to go through. So you could be side-eyeing certain things that you may have been doing for money. You could even have this desire to do something different, something new, something fresh, something that will give you a challenge, something that will make you feel like, okay, this is, this is new. So yeah, you could be questioning, are certain things worth it? I also see you guys could be more concerned about personal health as well. You could be wanting to do like maybe a diet or you could feel like, you know, by summer, I want to lose this amount of weight or, you know, by this time frame, I want to be this size or I want to be this healthy or overcome this health ailment. But I, I just see this energy of you guys trying to set goals that you're going to stick to in some way. All right, I have the Nine of Cups in reverse. So you could be realizing that you're really not feeling somebody anymore. Like, you may have thought that this person was everything and just your, your, your joy, your happiness, everything that will complete you. But you could be noticing that this person could have been feeding you a fantasy or feeding you this, like, or even may have presented things as being more glittery and gold and glamorous than it actually truly is in reality and some of you could be noticing that now you know i'm also getting the sense that some of you are just like you're starting to check out in your relationship because there could be certain needs that you need met that your person isn't necessarily able to uh, meet Yeah, some of you guys could be out of space in a space where you're like, you know, I think I'm just going to let the situation go. One more. All right, so the sun card in reverse and then the eight of swords in reverse. So, yeah, um, there's also a Leo here that you guys are just deciding to stop being frustrated about. You could be tired of this person, like bringing your energy down or bringing your sense of confidence down or literally just disappointing you in some way. And you could be deciding to just not even focus on this person anymore. Or the person you may have kids with. I'm also seeing that as well. They could be um, not as concerned about the child, like how you need them to be. And this could be something that's making you um, side eye them a little bit. But these are just some of the things that I see. This is just a quick overview. I hope that this was helpful and I will talk to you later.